thank you diksha uh, for the warm welcome and now let's start with the session so today's session is uh, on graphic resources and in this uh, session we will discuss what are the graphic resources and uh, what does the uh, infographic means also we will learn uh, two uh, ict tools on which you will do the hands on also that is uh, canva and uh, visual understanding environment so now let's start with the presentation first i will take uh, very less time in theory and then we will do the hands on exercises uh, so if we talk about the graphic resources uh, what do you understand by this term graphic resources uh, or uh, you can also uh, start with the meaning of graphics so i have mentioned here a small definition of graphic but other than this definition if you have any other point of view if you have any other thought regarding the term graphics you can share with us uh, in the chat box this is a very common term and in our daily life we use this term uh, very much and also we use uh, the graphics and infographics in our teaching learning process so, uh, so uh, what do you understand by the term graphics yes picturization of an event or uh, of anything if you explain it in a picturized manner then you can call it a graphic anyone else diagrammatic presentation is also graphic yes right graphical presentation of course if you are explaining any concept with the help of diagram uh, in mathematics or in science uh, you can call it graphic right okay picturization of data uh, very uh, usually we uh, create charts to uh, show any data we can call that picturization graphic also okay thank you and also i have mentioned some examples here and the definition of graphic that graphic is an image or visual representation of any object combined text illustration or color if you are going to represent if you repre represent any uh, anything uh, whether it is an illustration whether it is a, a diagram if you are representing it visually in front of the audience you can call it graphics and some of the examples of graphics are there which are charts maps diagrams photograph photograph is also you can call it a, an example of graphic any image it comes under the category of graphic drawing painting and there are many other examples also so i can see that someone has raised his hand yes uh, mr mohammed uh, do you want to ask something okay so i request you if you have any question any uh, query or if you want to share anything regarding this presentation we can take all the queries uh, after the session but if i ask uh, any question in between the session to make this session more interactive you can respond in the chat box thank you so here are a few examples of graphics now let's come to the importance of graphic why graphics is important to us so if you use graphics uh, in your teaching learning process it will enhance the memory because uh, the pictures will remain always in the memory of your students and also uh, the user can extract information on a subject and the user can be your student your the user can be your audience wherever you are presenting your graphic uh, the user can extract the information which you are trying to deliver to your audience on that on that particular subject and of course the conceptual development or uh, uh, conceptual development will be there in an exciting exciting way there are uh, many more importance of using graphics in your teaching learning process and through 
graphics with the help of graphics you uh, you can visually represent your data as uh, you one of you has responded also that uh, the graphics are the visual representation and graphics can add valuable context and information it provides unique time saving resource and also convey information quickly and easily to the masses so these are a uh, few importance of using graphics in your content here is a slide which is showing the infographics what are the infographics there are some messages given in this slide in uh, with the help of infographic so if you see on your left hand side there is a message of using mask and how mask can secure you from, uh, from the uh, pollution uh, from the viruses so this whole information is given in a graphical manner with the help and and also there is some information uh, given in this uh, picture which you are seeing on your left hand side is it is in the green color the message is to wash your hand to use mask or to you uh, to throw the use mask uh, to use sanitizer wash your hand with soap so these all information if you are trying if you uh, you you give the same information importance of wearing a mask and um, uh, and importance of uh, cleaning your hands if you are trying to convey this information to the audience in a written form it will be very lengthy but if you are giving the same information in and uh, with the help of infographic the audience will see it in in interesting manner and also they will try to follow the instructions so through infographics we can convey a comprehensive information a detailed information in an interesting manner by using graphics also as the term infographic means information plus graphics whenever you create infographics there is always some information in a written a written manner and also graphics will be there so uh, here is a small definition or a small meaning of infographics given in this slide infographics are the graphical uh, graphic visual uh, infographics are graphic visual representation of information data and uh, knowledge so it is uh, as i said also that uh, infographic are the visual representation with the help of graphics of any information data and knowledge what are the educational use of infographic if we discuss it is used as visual aids uh, aids and uh, it can be used as a discussion starters and if you are introducing any topic any new topic in the class you can just first show the infographic and you will ask your students to look at that infographic and understand what is given in that particular uh, picture and also the <clears throat> user or or the audience can visualize the data which is given there uh, in the infographic so these are the few characteristics or the few features of infographic they are always comprehensive they are appealing they are attractive and now let's discuss uh, the infographic tools how you can create infographic there are many tools and some tools which uh, uh, some tools are there which uh, we have mentioned in this slide the first one is canva uh, you must have used this ICT tool. Then the next one is easily Vengage, Picto Chart, Wiz, uh, Wizme, Infogram, Visualize dot me, and there are other tools also. Uh, today uh, we will uh, uh, do the hands-on on Visual Understanding Environment, which is again a graphical tool through which you can create the concept maps. Now here is the uh, home screen of Canva. You must be very familiar to this. I'm just uh, scrolling the slide and uh, we will uh, come to the actual home page of Canva. 
here is the home page of canva given uh, then the next one is it explains how you can create your account in canva if you want to use uh, this ict tool you can log in through your gmail id you can uh, log in through the facebook id of yours and also <clears throat> you can continue with your email so there are four ways of signing up in this software next one if uh, after you log in you will find uh, this home page of canva where you can actually get all the features of canva all the uh, uh, this uh, <clears throat> the main uh, features uh, which uh, uh, which are this uh, whiteboard uh, presentation uh, social media you can create uh, uh, your presentations with the help of Canva, you can create a, a, a social media post with the help of this tool. You can create videos, you can uh, edit videos also. You can uh, create a, a small websites with the help of Canva and there are many more other features uh, which we are going to use in our practical session. So uh, on the left hand side, which uh, we have highlighted, here, here some uh, features are given. So first one is of template. If you want to choose a blank template, you have to click on the template. Uh, uh, this is a click. I think uh, the user have to click on this option. So after clicking, you will get a blank template. Then uh, there are more uh, features. browser and in the search section you have to write canva so the very first link www.canva.com you have to open this link and when you open this link you will find the login option on the top right hand side and the sign up option. So if you are having uh, already a Canva account, then you have to log in simply. Otherwise, if you want to create a, uh, an account, you have to sign up here with the help of this uh, click button. So I have used Canva earlier also, and uh, I am uh, so I am logging uh, logging in, and with the help of my Gmail ID, you can also. Login with the help of your Gmail ID. After login, uh, you will find this home page of Canva. Then it will ask you to create a design. On the top right hand side, you will find a tab which is asking you to create a design and below that you will find a ribbon type uh, uh, the instructions where many options are given so if you want to create a document you have to click here if you are you want to you can click here there uh, here you can create uh, with the help of this button you can create presentations you can create a social media post as, as I have told earlier also you can create videos you can uh, print your uh, creations and you can create small websites and if we click on these three dots you will find many more options 
with the help of this tab you can create infographics you can create photo collage also you can uh, create a desktop wallpaper you can create graph you can create book covers mind maps and there is a scroll button and many more examples also and also the good thing is that that many templates are also available there in canva and you have full liberty of doing uh, of creating an interesting resource with the help of this ICT tool. So it depends upon you how informative resource you are going to create. So on the left hand side, you will find the option of projects. So if you have already created any project, you will find your created project under this tab, your project. And <clears throat> if you want to see all the projects, you have to click these uh, this all project button. So here uh, you can see some, uh, some samples of uh, projects which recently created by the users. Now let's come to more options. Go back to home and let's create one infographic. So you can choose a template for, uh, with this option of uh, infographic or you can go to the tab of create a design. If you click on this tab, you will find the same options which uh, I'm just showing you. So let's uh, start with a blank template of infographic. After clicking, you will find many templates of infographic and you have to choose a template as per your need. Whether you are creating a brochure or you are creating any uh, infographic for your class or any infographic for uh, your uh, um, uh, like uh, for your personal use, you can choose the template as per your need. Like there are many uh, templates available. It is uh, I'm taking another template. So let's use this one. This is uh, an infographic and here are some uh, options given of understand and define ideas. So I just thought that uh, let's create an infographic on Bloom's taxonomy. Uh, you all are teachers and I hope you are very well aware about Bloom's taxonomy. Yes or no? Yes or no? Do you know about? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Because you are teachers, you create lesson plan. So I hope that you all are aware of Bloom's taxonomy. And now uh, the, the teachers are using the revised Bloom's taxonomy. So what is the first component of uh, Bloom's taxonomy? You can write in the chat box. The first step.
okay yes thank you uh, knowledge understanding yes these are the domains obviously these are the domains of uh, bloom's taxonomy so let's start with the very first domain I missed that slide. I'm just searching it again. Just give me one second, please. I'm sorry for the pause. You can also open uh, the same the same uh, software of Canva in your uh, laptops. And also, uh, application of Canva is available there uh, in Google Play Store. If you are not having this application, you can download it from there. Meanwhile, I am again sharing my screen. You just uh, download this application in your mobiles if you are online from your mobile or, or and if you are online from your PC and laptops, you can open this application. I hope my screen is visible to all. Let's go to the home page. And I am just showing you uh, the options and the features of Canva. So this I have already explained. Now go to the templates. The net is slow here, that is why uh, it is appearing very slow. Uh, 
now if you want to create a presentation with the help of canva uh, you can simply there are many templates available here but uh, if you want to create your own uh, presentation just click on blank presentation So now the blank tem template appears and uh, with the help of this text tool, you can add text to your presentation. Uh, yes, firstly, you have to add a text box by clicking this uh, um, add a text box, but, uh, text box button, which is there on the left hand side. And you can write the text here, whatever you want to write. You can drag and drop your text box as per the requirement. And if you want to add font to your text or if you want to uh, add more headings with the different text styles, you can uh, click on the options available here on the left hand side. And you can also add a subheading here. And with the help of this element button, you can add the elements to your presentation. Element means there are many graphics available in this uh, tool. And with the help of elements, you can find the relevant, you can find the relevant graphic whichever is uh, required for your presentation. Here, because the net is slow, it is uh, not appearing. Suppose you are pre preparing a presentation on ICT or on the use of computer, then you can use this image of uh, a PC here. And there are many more images, many more graphics. If you want to see all, you just click on the see all button and you can scroll down. Uh, let's take this image. You can also resize the image as per your requirement. So I'm just only showing you the features of Canva uh, and I also request you to try your hands on on all the options which are given um, in this uh, soft in this ICT tool. Uh, you can create a presentation, you can create an infographic and you can create anything uh, with the help of uh, this ICT tool. So uh, if we go again in the elements, you will find many more images. Like if you want to add a shape, you can choose a shape of your choice and uh, you can just resize it. You can also move this shape anywhere. Wherever is required, you can also rotate it with the help of this rotation tool. So here is an option of uh, uploads with the help of this uh, button. You can upload the already created image or the already created picture into your presentation. So if you are having anything in your uh, Google Photos, you want to add this, uh, that uh, the photograph here in your presentation, you can go in your Google Photo Drive and you can add the picture here in your presentations. Here are some drawing tools given. These are the colored pens and also a, a marker. You can choose the writing tool as per that your date. So there are some 
designs also available there the templates you will find here under the design button and you can choose the design as per the requirement suppose i am choosing this one the group project you can replace the current page here it is asking if you want to replace the current page or you uh, want to use this template as a new page so if i click on this add a new page then you will see that a new page appears and also our previous page is there also so this uh, in this new page you can edit it you can edit the text you just delete this and you can add the text box and you can write anything here rotate it as per your need Just add the heading with the help of uh, heading tool. It is only one slide and you can add more slide in your presentation with the help of this plus button. You can see a plus button under this uh, slide. If you click the plus button, next slide will appear. And like this, you can add many more slides to your presentation. Now, uh, this is how you can create a presentation. I've just uh, demonstrated few uh, features of this. Let's go back to the home page. So under project, uh, there are some already created projects which I am going to open. So here is a template of verticals on Diksha which we have created earlier. So uh, this slide is showing you that uh, uh, there are many verticals of Diksha. If you want to share your present this presentation of yours with someone else, you can share it with the help of the share button, which is given on the menu bar on the top, top right hand side. Just click on the share button and you can write the email ID of that particular person to which you want to share your uh, creation or you can copy the link of this presentation and share the link with the audience and there are many more options uh, many more uh, options of sharing your presentation uh, with the audience or with your students you can simply download your creation you can share it on social media or, or you can print uh, also. You have the option of uh, printing your creations. So in this manner, you can share your work with others. There are many more uh, templates given here. So if you explore this ICT tool, you will get lots of options here of creating infographics or creating anything uh, uh, related to teaching learning process in this software. 
and uh, also i hope that you have gone through this uh, ict tool and you have created some of, some uh, some of the things some of uh, uh, infographic or some of some of the presentation of any or anything you have created here with the help of this ict tool so if you have created just share in the chat box what you have created and if you are already having anything in your laptop you can share with us Okay, yes, I, I'm going to tell this thing also how to save and what will be the extension of file share. Uh, yes, we will explain the uh, saving process also. So how many of you are doing the hands on along with me? How many of you are doing the hands on? Okay, that's good. That's good. If you have created anything, can you share your screen? We will definitely uh, tell you the saving process also, how you can save your work. I'm just uh, stopping my screen uh, share and I am requesting you that if you have created anything during this session, you can share your screen. It can be anything. I. I'm not asking you to share a perfect creation because we are now learning only. We are through the learning phase. We are only learning how to explore this ICT tool. So if you have created anything, you can share your screen. Yes, you can share, you can share. You can unmute uh, yourself also, uh, Sita Lakshmi ji. Please explain what you have created. We are seeing your screen. Yes, uh, Kandari Meghanath ji, uh, you also share, want to share? May I share, ma'am? Yes, but already one screen has been shared. This is by. Uh, I am not sharing. I cannot see. Already someone is sharing. Sanji. Sita Lakshmi ji. Okay, she has shared uh, her screen. Yes, sir. This was just I prepared now. Uh, no problem, sir. At a lab that page. So you have. <clears throat> yes. So you have added one element to your uh, to uh, to this one slide, particular slide. Huh? You you have added I one element. I have taken the slide. 
If anyone else want to share what they have created through Canva during the session, they can share with us. Only two screen sharing uh, is requested. Yeah, that's good, sir. Remembering. So all the domains you have stored. Okay. You can also replace these images, sir. You can add you can add more relevant pictures here in your infographic. And after creating this infographic, you can take the printout of it and uh, you can paste the same thing in your classroom. Uh, okay, ma'am. I am just trying now. Ah, yes, I am trying in Canva. Ah, I am only just uh, sharing my thoughts with you. You can add more relevant images. Uh, if you are having those images in your uh, laptop or uh, many images are also available in this uh, uh, software of Canva. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So now again, I'm sharing my screen and uh, we will discuss how you can save your creations. Let me share my screen. So this is one slide which uh, uh, we have just created. You can modify the font type, font size. You can make it more visually attractive. It is only a demonstration. There are many more options through which you can make your presentation more attractive, more informative for your audience. So here is a, there is one more slide which we added during the presentation. And if we want to save the project, we have to simply click on uh, simply click on the file menu. This was ours. Just click on the file menu and as you normally save your work in your PC, you have you have to save uh, your created infographic in the same manner. So just click on the save button. You can you can save your already created uh, uh, presentation with the help of the save button. And if you want to save it to a particular folder, you can choose the option of save to folder. And here it is showing the recent folders and all folders. So there are two more options under this all, uh, all, uh, all folder option. Uh, there is uh, an uh, option of your projects. You just click your projects and save. As greetings. So your design which you have created, it is saved as greetings. And if you want to see it again, you have to go to the folder of Greetings. Let's go back. There is an op option of import files also. If you if you want to add uh, 
some file to your presentation, you have to click the import file option and you have to choose, it will ask the location where your file is all already saved. You have to uh, click the choose file option and it will take you to the location. So if you have any file saved on your desktop or in the downloads or in the documents or in the pictures, you can just select the file and you can add it to your project. So this is also an option of uploading the already created image in your presentation. So If you want to see your saved projects, you have to go to the home uh, home page of Canva and you have to click on projects. Yes, go to the home page of Canva and under projects, you will find your created projects. So like we have just saved our, uh, uh, we have just saved a file with the name of my presentation. You will find your presentation here under the project option. Yes, sir, it will ask for a file name, but if you have already given the file name to your work, then it will simply save your work. So this is how we can recover our uh, created work. So this is also a question I find in the chat box. How, uh, please show the file which you have already, uh, you have rights now saved. So I have, say, I have shown you the process, how you can see your already created project. Uh, so there is also one more query in the chat box that is Canva copyright free. So uh, there are many options freely available on Canva, but there are many options also for which you have to pay. So this is not a totally free software. You have, if you want to uh, use all the features, then you have to pay for some features only, but obviously, uh, some features are free. So let's, I'm going to show you the features which are paid. So if you find this crown button on any template, on any option, it means that that particular uh, feature of Canva is paid. If you want to use this particular feature, which have, which, uh, which uh, the particular features which are having this crown button, then you have to pay for that. But if you are not finding this crown button on that particular feature, you can use that feature free of cost. Uh, let me open any template and if it is free, then I'll show you how you can uh, use. Uh, So some templates are paid, but te many templates are free also. So we are not seeing any ground button on these templates. It means you can freely use these templates. Yes, here there is one template. 
you can see a crowd button on this yes the pro is written here with the uh, this uh, uh, crown symbol it means that this template is paid if you are using this template you have to pay uh, pay a little amount for this again uh, this template it is having this pro button uh, pro option uh, it means it is paid and these where uh, no crown button uh, no crown symbol is there it means these are free sorry uh, again you can see so uh, th this uh, pro option uh, pro option of always means that uh, this feature is paid so any more question Can you show us a template with, with the crown button? Yes, I have shown you many. And then now I would request you to see it on your laptop or PC. Yes, they are, there is an option of drawing pictures in Canva. I My request will be that please explore this tool. Full version to all RPs, please provide Canva full version. So I'm not getting this question, what you are trying to ask. And if you want to purchase Canva, here it is, uh, is an option of get Canva Pro, just click on it. Upgrade, if you want to pay, it will ask you for some amount. Okay. If you want to purchase it for uh, a year, pay this amount and for our day, this amount. So here is a small presentation on Canva from my side. Now my request would be that you create a small creation you just uh, prepare a small creation anything based on anything and you can uh, share with us so any more questions so is canva is better than ppt yes canva has canva has uh, many options but uh, if you are creating a presentation with the help of Microsoft PowerPoint. You can only create a presentation, but in Canva, you can create presentation, you can create infographics. There are many more choices which you which you can choose. So uh, it is it depends upon you whether you want to use a Microsoft PowerPoint or if you want to create your presentation through Canva. It depends upon you. There in PPT, uh, with the help of PowerPoint presentation, we can also add audio, video, and hyperlinks. Uh, there are many more options there also. But in Canva also, you can use the same. Uh, you, you will get the same features. How we can we create quiz for students? Okay, this will uh, we will also uh, share with you. This template, okay. Uh, you mean that uh, you, uh, if you create a template in Canva and then you want to use the same template in PowerPoint, yes, you can do. You just save your creation. You just save uh, save your infographic, and you can use that particular infographic in your PowerPoint presentation also. Yes, you can do that. Hmm, Adobe Photoshop, to sir, we use nahi kiya.
photoshop uh, i don't have any idea of photoshop so i cannot respond to this question is it alternate for photoshop okay we will check all your work just post them in the whatsapp group and the size of banner you can also um, uh, do that thing uh, in canva you can resize your banner as per your need of course Uh, if you want you can unmute yourself because i am reading all the questions here in the chat box but uh, i think it is better to communicate if you want to say anything if you want to share uh, your thoughts you can unmute yourself but uh, please raise your virtual hand otherwise there will be a chaos in this uh, meeting So Nidhi ma'am, uh, do we have uh, more time or? Ma'am, time is actually over, but still we can take few questions. Ah, okay, thank you. Vinjit sir, Sita Lakshmi ji. So Sita Lakshmi ji, please, uh, you raise your hand first. Please unmute yourself and ask, what do you want to say? Yes, ma'am. Ma ma I have created a... The post number, not able to share it in the Zoom meeting. I send it in the WhatsApp group. You are not able to share that in your WhatsApp group. Hmm? No, I, I uh, know. have you I saved your the, I have shared it in the WhatsApp group, but not able to share it in the Zoom meeting. I said, no problem. If you have share, uh, shared it in the WhatsApp group, then it's okay. No need to share okay, here okay. in Zoom meeting. No, no, ma'am. I'm uh, asking you to ma share it in the Zoom meeting. So, uh, you have to select the location where we uh, you have saved your work. Okay, ma'am. With the help of... Uh, just a minute. Ma'am... Uh, I have downloaded the, the, image the place where you are writing your message. Under that, you will find uh, the option of uh, more, and uh, yeah. there is also an option of attachment. Yes, uh, the third option, file. Just click on the okay, file option. Okay, okay ma'am. Yes, click on the file option and upload your file here if you want. Okay. Hey, Vijit sir, do you want to say something? Ma'am, my question was that I have to make a 6x3 size ka ek banner in this So, do you want to set the size here? Free of cost, without... Uh, Haan, like... sir. Haan, sir, as per my knowledge, you can uh, resize your banner or uh, whatever you are creating, you can resize it as per your need. जहाँ तक मुझे पता है हम कर सकते हैं सर इसको रिसाइज किया कर सकते हैं। ओके मैम। तो एक बार ट्राई कीजिएगा। जी जी। क्योंकि जितना हम प्रैक्टिस करेंगे उतना ही ज़्यादा हम फैमिलियर हो सकते हैं किसी भी चीज़ में। ओके। यस मैम इस सर। जी। यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन। थैंक यू थैंक यू मैम। थैंक यू Madam, if the if the presentation prepared in Canva, can I open it in the computer by PPT application? Okay, you have created a presentation, or you it is just a question. It's just a question, madam. Okay, I have never tried this thing, sir. <laughs> I have never tried this thing because uh, when I, I have created a presentation in Canva, I always open it through with the help of Canva. But I will try this thing and definitely respond to your question. I will try to prepare a PPT and then try to open it in the normal PowerPoint presentation. I never tried. Okay, thank you. But good, but good the, that uh, you highlighted this thing. So thank you so much.
if you have uh, more questions you can write in the chat box because because after tea break we are meeting again now the session